So how tall is the average black woman? I mean, there's a lot of conversation about uh, men, how tall a man should be, how tall a need, man needs to be, what a woman's preference is regarding a man's height. When I, when, I, when I listen to men, I don't really hear a lot of talk about how tall a woman needs to be. Um, in fact, I don't think men really care, don't care all that much. I think it has a lot to do with proportions for men. So in this video, we're gonna take a, a look at, at black females in particular. How tall is the average black female? Has that changed over time? And what does that look like in comparison to uh, another race? Okay, so social media kind of paints a picture of one thing. Um, actually, two different things. One, uh, you, from one side you hear that the, the black woman is on a, a downhill slide physically. I hear that often. I don't know if you've heard that. Um, and then there's another school of thought that seems to promote um, the overall um, lack of physical fitness uh, it, within the black community as a whole, almost as if it is uh, justified by just being who you are, you know, just being yourself. I don't want to get into that too deep in this video, but I wanted to, to kind of take a look at the numbers and see what, what if any changes have happened over time. So let's go ahead and get into it. How tall is the average black female? Now, what I did was I did a lot of uh, independent Google searches, uh, web searches to get that answer. What happens is when you have a short query like that, often the answer just pops up on the first first screen. You, you, you put in your search term, you, you click enter, and then a number, a number pops up. And the question is, where does that number come from? right? And why is that number different? Uh, depend upon where you look, there's slight differences in that number. So what I did was I just calculated myself based upon the data that was available through the National Health Surveys at the CDC.gov website. Here's what I found. I took the mean height over a series of nine surveys. These surveys occur every two years, right? They're physical examinations. We actually take a segment of the population that represents the entire population and they do physical examinations to get this data, right? Every two years, they release it in a report. So I took the nine, nine years that were available from 2000 or 1999 to 2016, and it gives us the average height, average weight, things like that, and it breaks it down by demographic. So I look at the non-Hispanic black group, non-Hispanic black female group, and I, it, I take that average for those nine years, I add them all up, and then I divide by nine. And that's gonna give us the average over that time period. And that number for average black female height, non-Hispanic, is 64.111 inches. It's five foot four is the average height of a black female in America. And how's that match up to, to another race, say the white race? Uh, white people, Caucasian, however you want to break that down. But where does the, the black height, uh, how, how does it match up against the white, non-Hispanic female average height in the United States? So that number is 64.288 inches, which amounts to five feet, uh, 4.29 inches. So how does that compare? The average black female is actually shorter than the average white female by a point one eight inches. Now that was news to me. I didn't expect that. Um, um, the average black females is, is, is shorter than the average white female. Um, it's interesting though, when we move over and we start talking about weight, you will we'll, 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 we'll approach that topic in another video. These videos are just basically uh, search engine oriented. So it's not really, um, they're not really oriented to build a a mega following on YouTube or anything like that. It's so that when someone's searching through search engines, when they put that, that query in, Google likes to serve them up with video content when available. I just realized that as far as black statistics are concerned, a lot of times there's no video content. So that's part of the reason that I'm producing these videos so that people have that quick answer and they also have that audible answer and they get a little bit of context and a little bit of insight behind the answer rather than just a raw number. 
So as far as changes, what I found interesting is that that data tends to fluctuate over the years, almost in like four, six year groups. Um, people tend to, to seem to be taller every four, six years and then shrinking back down. But here's the, here's the numbers for those nine years that were in the survey that I used to come up with the actual five foot four, one, one uh, metric for black females. So let's talk about the numbers in the survey. We're going back to 1999 and 2000, that was the first uh, two year period in which they did the survey. The, the black female in America, non-Hispanic, was five foot 4.2 inches, that was the average. Then going forward in 2001 to 2002, that decreased to five foot 4.1 inches. Um, 2003, 2004, it stayed the same, no change. 2005, 2006, it decreased another 0.1 inches down to five foot four even. 2007, 2008, it increased by 0.3 inches, which went up to five feet 4.3 inches. In 2009 and 2010, it was five foot 4.0 inches, which was a decrease of 0.3 inches. In 2011 and 2012, Increased to five foot 4.2 inches, which was a 0.2 inch increase. 2013 2014, it was five foot 4.1 inches, decrease of 0.1 inches. And in 2015 2016, which is the last year uh, that survey data was available, there was another decrease of 0.1 inches. So back down to five foot four even. So over that period, from 1999 to 2016, the height had always remained at somewhere um, just above five foot four. Just above five foot four is the average height of the African American woman in America. And the same goes for the Caucasian woman average height, which is just slightly taller, about 0.18 inch taller over that entire time frame. So the average height of a woman in America is five foot four inches. So I made this video for a little bit of context. Things really get interesting when we start talking about weight. Weight, when we move over to the, to, to the topic of weight, things start to shift dramatically over time. But height is one of those things, you know, it's, um, it's there's really not much we can do with it. We're just kind of born, um, born that way. But when it comes to weight, there are a lot more factors that go into it. A lot more single generation factors that go into it. Height happens over time. It's a multi-generational thing. You won't see the impact for a long time. Um, but as far as weight is concerned, you can see that in one generation. And that's what we're seeing happening here in America as a whole, um, but in this case, particularly in the black community. Um, so those numbers would be kind of surprising when you watch that, that video. So over the time period of these surveys that you see, these last surveys, there really wasn't much change, five foot four pretty much along the way. But if you go back to 1950, the average height of a woman in America was five foot two. So that's changed. That's a significant enough difference. Uh, instead of 0.1 or 0.2 inches, we're talking about two whole inches. So the average height of a woman nowadays is two inches taller than it was in 1950. But where we see the major difference, the big, the big difference is when we start talking about weight. If you're interested about that, there's a link coming up and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.